He is called the son of man. Son of man describes his humanity. Son of man, humanity. Son of God, humanity and divinity. Son of man, humanity. Son of God, a combination of humanity and divinity. That's the meaning of son of God, not Pekin of God. Son of God is not Pekin for Nigerians and uh, for the rest of the world. It's not like child, like, like a baby. So when, when other religions ask us, if Jesus is God, if you claim that Jesus is God, why then does the Bible call him son of God? Hey, listen carefully. Son of God means when God Almighty descends into humanity and takes off flesh. So the amalgamation of deity with humanity is what is called the son of God. As many as receive him, to them gave you power. Him coming into a man, that combination, they are called sons of God. So a son of God is a union of deity with humanity. Son of man is when God became a man 100%. Son of, man, of God is a union of, of deity with humanity. That's why you two are a son of God. Because God lives on your inside. Glory to God. If it's clear, can I hear a powerful amen? So when you say in the name of Jesus, that name, is it the name of a man? So in the name of Jesus, it's in the name of a man. We cast out demons in the name of a man. We heal the sick in the name of a man. We raise the dead in the name of a man. Because a man died and a man defeated death and rose triumphantly. Shataba. A man rose from the dead. A man rose from the dead. And a man is seated in, on the, in the regency on high. All authority in heaven, earth and under the earth is given to that man. The man Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And he is on your inside right now. Say with me, I'm born of God. Say I'm a son of God. I have deity living in my humanity. That makes me a son of God. I thought I would have a powerful amen. In the name of Jesus means in the name of a man. Now are we the sons of God. Why are we the sons of God? Because deity lives on our behold what manner of love the father has given unto us that we should be called the sons of God what is sons of God again deity living on the inside of humanity the day Jesus took up residence inside you the day you were born of the spirit of God you became a partaker of the divine nature so divine nature lives on your inside this custodian of divine nature is called a new kind of humanity or he's called a son of god or he's called a new creature that does not have any past this kind of human being never lived on earth before it's a combo of divinity and humanity just knowing that gives you the edge over every demon in hell Gives you the edge over circumstances and situation. And gives you the advantage over everything that the devil can offer any man. Listen carefully. A man defeated death. And he lives on your inside. Are you hearing what I'm saying? A man died. A man was buried. And on third day, a man rose. And he lives on your inside. And at the same time, he is seated on that throne. All authority in heaven on earth, under the earth given to him and he is functioning with that authority right now through you on the earth. You are not a victim, you are a victor. You are not under, you are over. You are not conquered, you are more than a conqueror. You are not a minus, you are a plus. You are a royal priest, a chosen generation. Peculiar people called out of darkness into his marvelous light to show the praises of God. You are called to show the praises of God. Jakotaka. May brother God the soccer. Somebody say, Oh, Dr. Damina, don't rob us of our, of, of our, our divinity. Your divinity is not in the name G God. Your divinity is in the reality of Christ in you. Christ in you is the reality of your divinity. Christ in you. Christ in you makes you not a God. Christ in you makes you a son of God. Glory to God. 